All right, guys, Ron here with Black Redneck, and today is harvest day. We are going to harvest some squash, some lettuce. We just harvested some spinach seeds. We still have some scallion seeds, i.e. green onions to harvest. So we're going to have some food today on July 4th. Some of the squash are going to go right in the grill. Some of it's going to go to lunch for the week. But, yep, it's a good day. This is what we all work for. Take a little video. There's a couple. I got like six or so. All right, let's get started. So you can see that these are all turning brown. It means they have long since stopped producing veg leaves to eat. But we were waiting for these seeds to uh, dry out so that we could harvest them. So that's what we're going to do today. Now uh, we got some, ah, that was actually just, literally just a trick I just figured out right now. Got all these little seeds and stuff that we can all use later on. Later on I'll remove the rest of these uh, leaves from them. But for now, I'm just going to collect them. I'll separate them and put them in Ziplocs, date them, etc. Now these, uh, these seeds, were, they're not just the seeds that you got from your big box store your favorite online retailer. These are seeds from a plant that you grew in your garden that's adapted to your environment. It'll be better suited and probably will do better than anything you bought before. So here's all the spinach we ripped out, harvested a ton of seeds, some I dropped right back into the same bed, because why not, and make sure it's got a good focus, I mean, there's a ton of seeds in there, there's got to be thousands, there were so many, like I said, I ended up just dropping some right back into the same bed, because it's just so many, why not, what can hurt, see obviously it's a mess in here, I'll clean it up, but there is a lot in there, I dropped in there, so that's fine. That will probably not do anything over the summer and then start to come up as we get into fall. I accidentally figured that out uh, with lettuce last year. And I dropped some in here because this bed, besides the tomato that's starting to go crazy, which I'm happy, a couple peppers, um, there's a lot of empty space in here. So I just filled it with a bunch of spinach seeds. Anyway, I just figured a quick video to say, show you how just because a plant bolts and goes to seed doesn't mean there's nothing left to do and it's just time to get rid of it. I mean, if you don't have to pay for seeds, again, you save money. I mean, here's a scallion that I'll grab that too today. Harvest some of those. I harvested some three days ago. And this one here is basically just let die off. Um, I'll probably harvest that container, pull them out, throw something else for the summer in there. Um, you see, we got a cilantro going to seed. Same thing. That'll probably just drop right down and re-go. I, can, I can't have too much cilantro. i uh, using the seasoning all the time. Love the flavor. More scallion. Those are just uh, some flowers in there. Honestly, I don't remember what the hell that is. I don't think it's a weed. Maybe it is. We'll see. Um, and here we have some more squash. So, again, just because a plant bolts and goes to seed does not mean it's the end of the world. And there's not more work to do. I don't know why Benny is here and playing in them, but whatever. If I'm not mistaken, we got about five here, so that's a good amount to eat today, and to have some for the week, and we got a bunch more that are coming, so they'll be ready towards the end of the week, and so we should have a good amount all season long. That's a good size. If they don't get too big, they change the flavor a bit, so they can be nice and tender, anywhere up to about nine inches or so. You can let them go bigger, that's up to you, but you also don't want to risk uh, them finishing and then the plant goes to seed and dies off. We want to harvest squash all, all summer long. So you can make them huge 
to show off of the gram or whatever. And so here's our July 4th harvest, a nice four squash at our nice six to eight inch size, a ton of lettuce, some parsley and cilantro, and some scallion. And so I just wanted to show you what you can expect from a decent harvest, even on what's considered a small farm. So there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching. It'll only go up from here as more plants propagate. Thanks for watching here at Black Redneck.